spoiler, I was actually quite shocked by the price. Shocked as in, mm, or shocked as in, oh. I guess you never know, or you will know at the end of this video, but you know, you know, you know. Hello, welcome back, and welcome to a Sainsbury's Fruit Shop. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. All right, I pulled it together. So today I'm doing, why am I shouting? Why do YouTubers shout so much? Not that I'm a YouTuber, or am I? I mean, I'm on YouTube. Today's haul is gonna be a Sainsbury's haul, and I thought I would try out Sainsbury's for a big shop, because I always do my little in-between shops or my fresh shops at Sainsbury's. So I don't actually know how much I would spend if I did my big shop at Sainsbury's. Say Sainsbury's again, seriously. <laughs> I just wanna see what the price is compared to, say, Tesco, Asda, Aldi. I keep seeing them advertise their Aldi price match, and you can actually online just type in Aldi price match and it brings up all the stuff. If you're new here, I show you in my cupboards pre-food shop. At this point, you'd think I don't have a car or any access to food shops. Starting in the pantry, as you can see, I have absolutely no cereals left, hence having to shop as an actual emergency at this point. Still got quite a lot of pasta and rice left. And down here, I have absolutely no snacks. Today is a sad day. Oh my god, I didn't start in the fridge. Da da la. So, we have condiments. Oh my god, love myself some garlic sauce. Cream. The tiniest bit of cheese you've ever seen in your life. One apple. That is my only snack for the day. Some mince for tonight's dinner. Don't know what I'm going to put it with. <laughs> some bread. Ice. A tiny bit of ice cream. Absolutely no meat or fish. Some Yorkshire puddings. It's just the frozen veg drawer. In here, there's not really a lot either. In this cupboard, yep, yeah, the chickpeas are still there. They're not the original original, but they are the ones from the last food shop. Maybe I should stop buying chickpeas. I don't know what it is. I just want to be that person that eats chickpeas. Still got plenty of baked beans and plum tomatoes. Over here, we've got my nut butters, maple syrup, honey, salt, pepper. I've run out of all like teriyaki and things like that that used to be in here. I don't even know if I ordered any. Olive oil, spare herbs and spices that don't fit or I use this to top up my gravy granules. People do ask me, what do I do if I don't have space in here? And that is what I do. I put them up there. And then, oh, I need to fill this up. Yes, yeah, so I fill up the gravy granules because it's cheap. They're not gravy granules. I fill up the garlic granules because it's cheaper to buy the bigger one. I've got this bloody Thai curry kit. My mum gave it to me. Haven't used it yet. Then up here, this is the stuff I use for my pancakes. So the only chocolate chips I have left is the dark chocolate. Cleaning cupboard, I think is well stocked. Need some washing detergent and some a few other bits, but other than that... The food is here and I didn't get one single substitution. I've never had that at any supermarket ever. I'm going to run through everything I got and then towards the end I'll show you the meals I planned and any recipes from my recipe books that I'm making. I can't remember every item that was Aldi price match but I'll put on screen the logo of the ones I think are. Starting off with the crunchy brand, Sainsbury's is the only place that always does these. Asda used to do them, but then they just went. Rice Krispies, I didn't realise I was getting the huge one, not complaining. But then the Weetabix, didn't realise it was going to be this tiny. Then I've got the Sainsbury's own Maltese. I've never tried the Sainsbury's version. These are always nice, like any supermarket. One thing to bear in mind when I get to the pricing of this, this was £10. And then I got the lip seal. Oh my god. This is the only thing. I don't know if anyone gets really dry lips because of hay fever, but this actually works and they're only a pound. And I've never seen these before, but they're Maltese biscuits and they're mint flavoured. Classic Rocky rice cakes with chocolate on, some cashew nuts. Got myself some mini twisters. Probably should put these in the freezer. I actually prefer the reverse. Much better than the original. I only got four of these because I'm pretty sure every time I go in store they're 35p each. But I paid 60p online. This was the true test Sainsbury's and did they pass or fail? They passed. Every time I ordered this, okay it happened once. I don't like the added sugar and when I ordered it from Tesco once they gave me the added sugar. Even though I ordered the non-added sugar. I know, what a crime. For fruit I got some lemons and some blueberries. This was an Aldi price match which had good reviews. Actually, no, I think they might have had bad reviews, but I refused to listen after I saw the reviews on the strawberries. So I saw the reviews on the Aldi price match strawberries are really bad. And I was like, oh, okay, let's see the reviews on the normal strawberries that I always pick up, which in my last vlog, I said, I love Sainsbury's fruit. 
They were bad as well. So I was like, okay, so basically you're never happy. None of the strawberries are good enough for you. So I just thought, why am I listening to these reviews? And the strawberries, four pink lady apples, probably should have got six, don't know why I got four. I've been obsessed with oat pancakes at the moment, so I got some white chocolate chips, two packets. White chocolate chips with strawberries in the oat pancakes, so good. Um, yogurt, I don't know why I got these little ones and the big ones, not sure what the thought process was. Again, this come way bigger than I thought, but this super size honey, oh my god, honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Um, I love that film. I want to watch that. Then some vanilla extract. I'll link the oat pancake recipe below. It's so good. I also got three packets of the Greek style flatbread. Recently, I've been making flatbread pizzas. So quick, so easy, so good. Also, to go with the flatbread, I got the mini hummus snack pots. Oh, all just plain hummus. Last time I got a mix, so different flavours, but oh well, I like hummus, so it's fine. These are perfect for when you're eating it on your own, which I usually am. Wow, how lonely. <laughs> and then I got some roasted red pepper hummus, some garlic, nine pack of toilet roll. Even the reviews on this was bad, like come on, it's not bad. Um, Non-bio laundry powder. I know wipes are bad and all that. Uh, zero plastic wipes does that make it any better i don't know but i got two packets because i don't like cleaning my toilet with a cloth this was the first audi price match thing i put in my basket and the reviews were so bad so 10 mixed size british british eggs okay everyone was like the eggs are tiny oh they're not mixed here we go are you ready they're not tiny they're literally fine. This was an accidental purchase. So for some reason I bought two blocks of cheese. Completely didn't mean to do that. I got some halloumi. I don't know why I went for the lighter one. I think I just want to see if it actually tastes different. Because if it doesn't then I'll just go for the lighter one. Why not? Then some parmesan, Greek feta. This was part of a meal. So this is the meal that I mainly got the feta cheese for. How good does that look? From the... Jamie Oliver's Seven Ways recipe book. Screenshot if you want to make this. To the veg. Now, I better not be throwing any of this veg away. Anyone else gets so annoyed at themselves when they waste veg? I've got quite a lot this time. Not sure who I think I'm feeding because I definitely haven't got a family of five. Peppers, spring onion. I'm pretty sure this was Aldi price match. Two aubergines over the gene. Tender stem broccoli, two packets of that. Diced butternut squash and sweet potato. Didn't actually realise it was and sweet potato. I just hate cutting up butternut squash. Like, why is that so hard? And then the scotch butternut chilies, which was for the recipe I just showed you. And then the bay leaves were also for that recipe. Asparagus, courgette, three packs. Ah! Gene! <laughs> three pack of courgettes. Some young spinach. Why is it young though? How old are you? I've got a half cucumber portion. If this doesn't say I have no kids at 29, I don't know what does. <laughs> got some tortilla wraps because I want to make some burritos and obviously I can use the wraps for other things as well, like lunches. Six beans in a mild chili sauce. Some black beans. Oh. I don't know if this was. Was I meant to do that? I don't think I was. Some spicy chipotle. I love saying chipotle like that. Chipotle. Chili pasta. Um, <laughs> chili paste. And some sour cream. The plan is chipotle burritos. Um, chicken chipotle burritos. And then I got some boil in a bag basmati rice. I have to get boil in a bag. Broken record, I know. But don't ever go boil in the bag because you can't go back. Bag of sweet potatoes. I think I've got a couple of sweet potato meals. So I might need to get more of them. Cajun seasoning, which is actually for one of the sweet potato recipes. This is the recipe. I probably will have to have this with something else, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Maybe some chicken. I just think they look so good. So you literally just need these five ingredients. And yeah, here we go. No, I didn't wash up. Yes, I'm hiding it from you. <laughs> Sneaky. Got these potatoes for just like mash or anything like that. But I also got it for this. I've never made my own, so I thought I'd try and make my own. It looks pretty easy. And again, here's the recipe. Again, from the Jamie Oliver five ingredients. I picked up this for no other reason other than it was colourful. And I was like, oh, I want some of those. So I got them, and then I picked up a big bag. I didn't actually know it was big, but I do actually prefer fresh pasta, but it's always handy to have this. 
So I got this one and some Taglatelli. The dates are actually much better than you'd think. And then I got some creme fraiche and tomato puree. The creme fraiche is for a pasta that I've made so many times. I actually haven't had it in ages. I'll link the video where I've put the recipe in below. This is what these cherry tomatoes are for. These again were the Aldi price match. So I wanted to make my own homemade soup and then ended up buying some fresh tomato soup. I don't know how that happened. I got some frozen chopped onions. These are so handy to have and you don't have to cry cutting onions. I do sometimes buy onions but these are just handy. Frozen vegetables I just like to have just in case. So I also got the char grilled Mediterranean vegetables. One thing I missed about Aldi even though I've decided I don't think I really like Aldi that much anymore. I might change my mind. But I loved the cod fillets in parsley sauce so i thought i'd try it the sainsbury's version this is the first time i'm having fish since watching seasbury sing it's been months i'm excited but i'm just gonna try and block that out my head it's not salmon though i don't i don't know if i could do that i don't think i'm ever going to be ready for that again oh and another meal that i'm going to make which i nearly forgot and this is from the slow cookbook but the good thing about this cookbook is it shows you the slow cooker version and the oven version how nice does that look so I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it in the slow cooker yet or the traditional method. And then lastly, I just got some chicken fried fillets and chicken breast because I can just make anything with that. Chicken, veg and rice, curries, whatever. I can just, yeah. Right, comment below your guess for how much you think I spent. Bear in mind the toiletries and stuff. Oh, and once I spent 140 at Tesco and at Asda I think I spent 102 for reference. And I think at Aldi I spent about 80. <laughs> The grand total was £119.52. I don't think that's that bad. Because if you take off my shampoo and conditioner and the lip seal, we're down to like, what? About 107 Take off the extra trees that I accidentally bought. So let's just say 105 Now I didn't get mints, but what would mints have added really? Not that much. I was expecting it to be way more than the others. And I actually think Tesco was more than this. It's not that far off Asda. Really? Is it? What do you think? Do you think I got value for money? Quite a few of the things I picked came way bigger than I thought. So if I just got the normal size, it would have been cheaper. People usually ask how long this will last me. And the answer to your question is I have no clue. I can make a lot of meals out of this. I usually do like one big shop once a month and then little in between shops. But that is everything. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Click on that bell. I shall see you in my next video. Goodbye.